G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Well, we've had a bit of a dip and there's probably people starting to panic, so now we're down to $360 billion. But guess what? It's Friday. This is what happens on the weekends particularly. There's a sell-off. Sometimes it'll happen early, you know, sort of Thursday night, uh, Friday morning, and I guess that's what it is now. Sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes it's Sunday. Now look, not every weekend do we have a sell-off, but most of them we do. And that's all this is, in my opinion. Now I did find something interesting on Twitter from Box Mining. So he says, OKX just suspended withdrawals causing the crypto dip. A private key holder is cooperating with Public Bureau of Investigations. Not a hack. So interesting to see, uh, to know whether that's actually what happened, or again, it's just the weekend sell-off that we regularly get. So we go over here, we'll give this a bit of a refresh because it might have dropped a little bit more again. Uh, it sort of picked up a little bit more. So we're, we're back up just a tiny percent there. So what is interesting though, is if we go across and have a look at the Bitcoin chart. So again, this is the line that I'm really following at the moment. I don't think this line's gonna be broken uh, for quite some time or any time soon. So we'll just have to wait and see, but we dipped down to, there we go, uh, $11,191. So ba basically 11,000, sort of 200. And we go over here and we do have that CME gap. So I don't know whether this means it's been filled or not. Do you need a whole candle body to kind of come and fill it or do the wicks uh, count? I'm not really sure. But either way, I think possibly over the weekend this will sort of fill anyway. I've, I've said uh, since last week uh, when this gap started, I think this one will get filled. Uh, I'm quite confident that will and it'll probably be over this weekend. But I don't see this line being broken anymore. And I will continue this line out soon. Uh, I'll just wait to see. But I've said it a number of times and I say it in pretty much every video, the micro strategy purchase, uh, BTC purchasing process, where they just did it gradually but surely uh, without pumping up the price too much, I believe that's in play and I believe other institutions are getting in and this line uh, is going to follow for some time. I don't see any major drops happening in the cryptocurrency space in the sort of near future. Now don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean it can't happen, I just don't see it. It'd have to be some massive economic downturn, some really bad news uh, for Bitcoin to see, you know, the usual sort of 30%, you know, like 20 to sort of 40% dips. I just, I don't see any coming in the near future. Unless it goes on a big super pump like this, then yes, it could pull back something like this. But really, I think this line is going to hold. I think this will continue for a number of months, if not, you know, uh, even a lot longer. But at some point, there's been a lot of uh, Bitcoin being bought up at the moment. Grayscale's been buying it up, MicroStrategy's been buying it up, Cash App's been buying it up. And I think there's a number of other institutional investors that are, gonna, that are going to continue to get in. And yeah, once we break that twelve and a half thousand dollar mark, and particularly once we break the thirteen point eight thousand dollar mark, and we can just round it up to fourteen thousand. Once we break that fourteen thousand dollar mark here, uh, it's going to accelerate very fast. We will quickly cover off on the old all time high. So once we break this, again, the people who are kind of keeping an eye on it, they're just not sure at the moment. These other big institutional buyers are like, oh, is this a true breakout? So again, you know, covering off this last uh, previous high from last year. And once we go past that, that's when they're going to be like, yep, this is happening. It's legit. And they, they'll be, you know, very confident that the old all-time high will be covered. So this is the mark we're really watching out for, that 13.8. Let's just round it up to $14,000 mark. Once that gets covered we're gonna to start to see the uh, exponential uh, growth. It's gonna happen very quickly. We'll probably get up to here uh, and possibly uh, reject off here. I think we'll probably reject off here first. Once we get up to that $14,000 level, I think just before it, or maybe just after it, there'll be a breakout and it'll come back down and retest this 12,500. But once we truly get through the $14,000 mark, it's gonna to start to move fast. And I think that's going to happen in December this year, and if it's not December this year, 
it'll be early next year probably January February you know there's a bit of a slowdown over the Christmas period uh, on occasions uh, and that might happen but yeah if you're worried about this uh, sell-off now and it's particularly in the alts the alts are really hurting we can go back here and we can have a look like the alts are just bleeding well that's the gains there we go file coin I don't know if you uh, heard about that but uh, good to see uni swaps up I bought some uni swap the other day so I'm happy about that but there we go so Aves down reserve tokens uh, OKX again if um, OKX has been uh, you know some coming under some scrutiny at the moment that's obviously going to hurt it Aves down Hedera hash graphs down so we've got a numbers of, a number of coins down synthetics network you know it's been uh, steady declining for a while Synth synthetics network I still believe in the project and I'm just waiting for a buy point to get in I bought a few the other day uh, I've still got some cash on the side I think this might come down a little bit more if we actually go to the synthetics network token Think there might be a good buy point coming soon so let's go to i think it's 90 days we're looking for yeah here we go i think somewhere down around about sort of here so down around the three dollar mark might be a good buy price uh, it's no guarantee that it's going to come down here it's generally got a bit of a range here at the moment so i think this might be another accumulation phase i'm not sure we're going to come back down to you know these low prices but I am looking for sort of around this sort of three dollar mark to maybe get in but yeah we'll have to wait and see that's just my personal opinion uh, still a massive synthetics network bull I think that uh, program is doing really well and if you haven't checked out their uh, new L2 Minter site I think it is uh, fees are almost non-existent so yeah I'm really glad about that they got their layer 2 solutions going so keep an eye out for that now you know to get rid of all the FUD and especially with the weekend it's selling off and you know anyone new to crypto is probably panicking and thinking oh my god it's over and it's all gonna dump and go to zero it's not dumping and it's not going to zero that would take a massive economic downturn for that to happen and that wouldn't be just the crypto markets that'd be all markets they're all highly correlated uh, you know the correlation moves away from each other at certain times but in economic downturns uh, they all basically act the same and, th and that's what happened with you know the virus and all the rest of it so don't worry too much but enormous wall of money coming into Bitcoin price to reach 1 million in five years says Raoul Paul now he has 50% of his net worth in Bitcoin once upon a time he had a whole lot less uh, he's bet pretty big now uh, and gone 50% into Bitcoin and again with grayscale getting into it micro strategy you know there's a number of uh, institutional buyers that are getting in I think 1 million will happen whether it'll happen in five minute uh, in five years hard to say I mean that's still another another cycle away so there's still another halving to come after that so yeah I think 1 million uh, is probably relatively you know well within the realms at the peak of the next cycle not this cycle you know again it's hard to say I think this cycle will be somewhere you know anywhere from 80,000 you know up to maybe sort of 250 300,000 I think 80,000 uh, is well within a reach but there's no guarantees that it goes much higher I'm just taking a rough guess but I th think sort of the $80,000 up to you know the yeah, 250 maybe three hundred thousand dollar mark is possible in this cycle but again a lot of that will have to do whether we hit hyperinflation and you know whether we get that real mass adoption from institutional money and then the retail sector as well you know there's a ton of money in the retail sector and, and that is the the real big growth retail will get in once it goes over new all time over its old all-time highs retail are going to jump in that's what retail do uh, they're unfortunately you know considered uh, the dumb money and some of them are they want to jump into things that are pumping not realizing that something that's pumping is closer to coming back than it is to keep going but anyway that's the way it is now we can have a look over here I found something really interesting so grayscale adds 1 billion to crypto products in quarter three so another billion dollars just in quarter three alone and it sees unprecedented unprecedented demand for Bitcoin cash so anyone sleeping on Bitcoin cash maybe there's still something in it now I don't have any Bitcoin cash and I'm not sure of its long-term viability but 
look, these guys are considered the smart money and they're getting into Bitcoin Cash. So, you know, make your own mind up about whether you want to buy some for some sort of gains in this uh, bull run. Maybe not a bad idea. And again, none of what I offer is financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But I don't know, I don't think I'll get into Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I think there's other things that I'm more interested in. But something I found really interesting. So uh, where was it? Here it is. Unprecedented demand for Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin. So Litecoin has not been doing too well. Uh, it's really just kind of plateaued and bottomed out. But the fact that these big companies are buying up is what keeps me you know, somewhat bullish. And Litecoin is teaming up with Cardano. They're, you know, they're in the works of making, making them interoperable and things like that. Litecoin has its Mimble Wimble coming out. So yeah, I'm still, I'm still bullish on Litecoin, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. It has been around for a while, but there hasn't been a whole lot of development uh, and things being built uh, with Litecoin for a while. But look, it is pretty fast. Uh, the fees are cheap. You know, Mimble Wimble uh, will come out soon and hopefully that will uh, assist with making it faster, bringing the fees down, but privacy as well. Privacy is something big, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, last but not least, here we go. So Bitcoin price metrics suggest $15,000 surge after the US elections. Now, I sort of think that's what's going to happen as well. So we go back to here. As I said, I think we're going to come and test this after the elections. We'll get up to that 14,000K mark. We'll probably reject, come back down to around about 12,500, and then we'll start to make that move. And again, you know, once we get to sort of 15,000, we're above here, and it won't take long to go from 15,000 to get past 20,000. I think that will happen quite quickly. Now, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, and again, you know, the weekends here, I expect sell-offs to come at, on the weekends. Sometimes it's sort of Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes it's late Sunday. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. But generally, on an average, there's a weekend sell-off in Bitcoin all the time. And again, interesting to see whether this has anything to do with it, whether it's uh, OKX, you know, suspending withdrawals that has caused the dip. Who really knows? But that's it. That's anyway. Sorry, excuse me. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. That probably doesn't, you know. Sorry, where was it? Over here. You know, not a whole lot of gains here, but there were some. So it's not like there was none. They're just very small ones, unless you're into Filecoin. And, you know, it's taken a while for Filecoin to get their money. But stay safe. Be kind to one, be kind to one another. God, I'm struggling with my English today. And I'll see you next time.